In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the issue when Rainbow Six Siege won't launch. When it gets stuck during startup or just doesn't open at all, I've got a few methods you can try to get your game running smoothly again. Now first, if you're launching the game through Steam, open your Steam library and find Rainbow Six Siege. Right click on it, go to properties, then head over to the installed files tab. Click verify integrity of game files, then Steam will scan for any missing or corrupted files and re-download them if needed. Once it's done, try launching the game again, and this often solves the problem. If that doesn't work, your next step should be updating your graphics card drivers. Outdated drivers can cause games to fail at launch. Now, if you're using an NVIDIA GPU, open the NVIDIA app, go to the drivers tab, and check for updates. For AMD users, you can use the Radeon software or visit AMD's website to get the latest version. After updating, restart your PC and try opening the game again. Another possible issue could be with the Windows Defender firewall or your antivirus software blocking Rainbow Six Siege or its anti-cheat services. To check this, go to Windows Defender firewall, then click allow an app or feature through Windows Defender firewall. Make sure both Rainbow Six Siege and anti-cheat systems are checked for both private and public networks. If they're not listed, click allow another app, browse to the game's installation folder, and add it manually. If you're using third-party antivirus, try disabling it temporarily and test if the game launches. If the issue still isn't fixed, Ubisoft Connect might be the culprit. A corrupted launcher can't prevent the game from starting. Now try signing out and uninstalling Ubisoft Connect from your system. Then download the latest version from Ubisoft's official website. Reinstall it and sign back in. Now try launching the game again after this. As a final option, you can do a clean installation of Rainbow Six Siege. Uninstall the game completely, then manually delete any leftover files from the installation folder. Restart your PC and reinstall the game from scratch. This ensures no corrupted data is left behind. By following these steps, verifying game files, updating drivers, adjusting firewall and antivirus settings, reinstalling Ubisoft Connect, and doing a full reinstall if needed, you should be able to fix the problem and get Rainbow Six Siege launching properly again.